Hey, I'm Jeff and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to give you five tips on how to grow a jade plant into a large tree like this. So let's get into it. So tip number one is pruning off any branch that grows downwards. I have a few of these plants that I'll be kind of cycling through just for demonstration purposes. I've been keeping up on the downward growing branches pretty well, so I don't really have too many good examples, but one being right here. This branch you can see is growing from the underside of a main branch and it is growing upright but eventually as it uh, grows and matures the weight of the leaves and the branch itself will pull this down uh, growing downwards and ultimately pulling this main branch down as well so I'm going to take my pruning shears and I'm going to cut that off right at the or as close as I can get to the stem just like that the area where I just made the cut, this little piece will kind of callus over and eventually it will fall off. So there's no need to uh, snip it any closer to the stem. Now just giving you the zoomed out portion, it looks more like uh, an actual tree branch. And here is the, uh, the cutting that you've taken off so you can propagate this as well. This one's a little bit tougher to see, but it's the same kind of thing. This one is growing off of the side of another branch. I'm gonna snip this one off. Just again, as close as you can get, and just cut that off, allowing that natural looking uh, tree-like structure to take form. Tip number two is annual pruning. I will prune this every spring, and today being March 17th, we're just a couple days away from the official first day of spring, so this is a perfect time to start pruning your plant to promote branching, and that's what I do. I cut off the tips or just the tops of the branches so that it can promote further branching, and I'll explain that here. So if you have a single stem and you cut the top off, it will promote or it will produce two stems or two new branches and then the next year if you have uh, branches like this or if it doesn't branch out naturally and again you cut off the tops then that will again produce branching and so on. So every year that you prune the tips or the tops of the branches then it promotes or you will get two branches from that prune. So you can see how it will quickly, well I guess not quickly, but you can develop uh, branching and a kind of thick tree-like structure canopy. So each year um, I will prune to shape the tree and you can manipulate um, how it grows by the way you prune it. I'm gonna use this stem right here. I'm going to prune the top portion of the leaves off. Whenever you make a cut just above a set of leaves, the branches will form on the same sides as the leaves on that node or just below it. If I cut these leaves off right here, which I'll do, I'll just take my pruning shears and snip those off just like that. So I'm left with a little stump like this. The new branches will form on the same sides as these leaves. So it'll grow from here and here. And that's how you can, I guess, manipulate a jade plant to grow. So if you want branching or this area to fill out, then you can prune it in a certain way. Now, if I went one node below that, the new branches would form from this side of the leaf and it would grow out like one towards the inner portion of the plant and one outwards like this. So that's all I do is just kind of snip the tops off like that. And that's what I'm gonna do for the rest of these. And again, just kind of planning out how I'm going to uh, shape the tree. So this one, the new branches will grow this way. Uh, and, and I just go around snipping off little sets of leaves. If you have a little set of leaves like this as well, you can just twist them off and that will be sufficient enough as well. It just leaves a nice clean uh, removal there. Tip number three is cutting back any long or leggy stems. I have one on the back side of this plant right here. You can see it is not branched out in any areas and it's got one, two, three, four, five, six. It's working on its seventh node. I will typically let there be maybe one or two nodes and then I will make a prune. So that's what I'm going to do with this one. I'm actually going to cut this one back maybe right here. Something, oops, getting in the way. Something like that, just so it's not so long and stretched out. I probably could have even gone a little bit lower, which I might actually do. There's a small little branch right here. It looked like it tried to branch out here at one point, or maybe I cut off another stem, but I'm actually going to cut it back to right there. Now the nice thing about pruning these leggy stems is this not only promotes branching, but it also helps strengthen the stem 
like the main stem of the plant and the branches. Although this is a beautiful structure, I just want to show you what happens if you let too many nodes get ahead before it starts to branch out. So you'll have a bare section of stem like this and same with this one as well. When I was pruning it, I probably should have pruned it maybe somewhere around here, uh, just above the second node so that the, this branching started a little bit lower and that way you can have a thicker canopy. I'm okay with this right now, but over time, um, if I do decide to change my mind, I can cut it back there as well and that will eventually produce uh, a new branch, but the, uh, the thing that I've noticed when you prune on a woody portion of the stem in comparison to the pliable green is that it grows quite a bit slower and the branches take a long time to get to that woody uh, portion again. So it might look a little awkward for a while and that's what happened with this one right here. I had one long stem uh, growing out this way. I cut it back and you can see they are two smaller branches and eventually it will fill in this area again but uh, it will take uh, quite a bit of time before it reaches the same thickness. So this is what to expect if you prune a thicker woody portion of the stem. Tip number four is to defoliate. And what that means is removing some of the lower leaves. I'm gonna start with this little section right here. There's two leaves that are basically uh, snapped off anyways. So they're just at the portion where the stem bifurcates. I'm just gonna take or remove those leaves off so that it showcases the stem a little bit more. It just makes the stem a little bit more visible. The, the top of the tree canopy, um, like this area right here, it is full of leaves. And so I'll just do the same thing. I'll find an area where it branches. Okay, I just broke that one off, so I'm gonna take that off. And then there's some lower right here. I'm gonna take these larger ones off just so it helps kind of open up the uh, lower branches and stems. So here's a perfect example. It's tough to see right here, but you can see where it branches. There's two leaves attached to below those branches. I like to remove those ones and you just twist the leaf off and then it just kind of opens up that uh, branch structure just a little bit more. Same with this one. There's a uh, branching right here. I'm gonna remove those leaves just at the branches and you just peel them off just like that and you can see how it opens it up just a little bit more so I'm going to go one node higher and I'm going to remove a couple of those leaves some leaves are just falling off and you just remove leaves so that it exposes those beautiful branches so here's the whole cluster of leaves that I've taken off like that's a lot and now you can see how it's just kind of opened up that branching structure. You can see kind of right through the plant. The final tip, tip number five, is time. These plants take a lot of time to grow. They take years to mature into this tree-like structure. These three plants were taken from a cutting probably no larger than something like this. And over time, they grew into these tree-like structures. So with annual pruning, with a lot of light, the proper soil, um, yeah, just all those ingredients, it produces a plant like this. So obviously give your plants the requirements that it needs. And and something like this, like you can see, is already branched out naturally. You don't have to prune. And I probably wouldn't prune the plant or start pruning it until it's probably a couple years old. So I should also mention that these plants are six years old. They were taken off the mother plant, which just happens to be back here. This large old one has been pruned a number of times. So I took those cuttings, potted them up in some soil, and I just learned how they grew from my pruning. So this will become this in probably a few years given the right conditions and with pruning. Hopefully this answered all your jade tree-like structure questions. This thing is really heavy. Um, but if you have any other questions or comments, please leave it down in the comment section of this video. I'll, I will definitely read them and I'll try and answer uh, every question or comment that you have. Thanks again for watching my videos. Take care everyone, bye.